Hello everyone and welcome to the Scratch Coding Class. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. It will only take you two seconds. Now remember last time we did the Scratch Motion Blocks in seven minutes? Well today, we're going to do the exact same, but with all these look blocks. Let's get started. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. So the first block today is say and say will basically just say something in a speech bubble with the sprite so this one's gonna say for a specified amount of time and you can obviously adjust it to say anything you want so it can be coding for example but this one will say something forever so just take that in mind the next two blocks is basically in a think bubble it's not a speech bubble it's a, in a think bubble so I don't tend to use them that much. Again, this one is forever. Now, these two are costumes blocks, and to look at a costume, you go up here into the costumes tab. A costume is what a sprite would look like. You can obviously switch your costume, so we can do this by using this block to switch it to a specific costume. This block will just simply switch it to the next costume, so it will be costume 2, costume 1, so on. Backdrop is a background, and I've already made backdrops. You can go into stage backdrops, and then go up here to backdrop. And I've already made a purple backdrop called backdrop 2. So we're going to test this block here. It switches a backdrop to whatever you want. This one is next backdrop. It's going to switch it to the next one. These two have the exact same function. I do not know why. I can prove that. The next is previous, switches it to the previous backdrop, it's like the opposite way around the next backdrop. Random is basically the computer decides, it doesn't work well with two backdrops, you're going to need a bit more if you want to experiment with that. Now, the size is how big a sprite is, the size is already at 100, so I'm going to decrease the size to 90%, and as you can see, it's 90. This one, if you keep clicking on it, it's always going to stay at 90 because you set the size. This one changes the size, so it increases or decreases. This one stays the same, so be aware of that. Now you got these ones are a bit more complicated. I'm not going to go into that now. We'll come back to them later. Show and hide. Something appears, disappears, appears, disappears. Very simple. Now these two again are a bit more complicated. I'm going to leave that to the end. Now these three, this is the size, basically how big your sprite is. And then we got costume number. That's one, because my costume number up here is one. This one is two. So, costume name is basically what you called the costume. Same with the backdrop, backdrop number one. And then I called my backdrop one, backdrop one, of course. So, those three are already done. Now, this one is go to front and you can always adjust it to go to back. So there are basically, you can go behind the sprite or you can go in front of a sprite. I'm going to put it that way. So it's already in front of a sprite. To go behind the sprite, go to back layer. And as you can see, you can't really see the cap because the building's covering it because it is behind the building. So I tend to use this block more than this block. This one will basically just go forward or backward again. but a certain number of layers but just stick to this block because it's way easier to understand. Now these three are pretty cool because you can actually change the effect of a sprite it just doesn't have to look like that so let me explain this is your color effect so a color effect just basically changes the color and this one changes it by something so it sort of like increases or decreases the color effect this one will always set to a certain value so it's going to set it back to zero now i'm going to go through all of them very quickly fish eye just does that literally like, it's sort of like an eye and then you can set it all goes back to zero next one world effect it's twist, twist the sprite if you do minus 25 it's going to twist it the other way so next is pixelate and it basically turns the sprite into pixel like that so Mosaic is pretty cool because Mosaic like divides the sprite into different Mosaics in itself. That's pretty cool, but it is not duplicating the sprite. 
don't be confused with that. That is a completely different block, which we will get into in the future. So, it's of course still one sprite, so it's just an illusion. The next one is brightness. It just basically makes this sprite a bit brighter, like a light. The next one is quite interesting. It's a ghost. It feeds the sprite, but if the ghost effect is too high, you can't even see the sprite. So it's all faded away, as you can see. If I increase it, yeah, there you go. It's sort of fading. Um, if the ghost effect is like that, it's a hundred. A hundred, you can't see it. It's like similar to hiding it. But you can't obviously show it again because you've got to set the ghost effect back to zero. So be aware of that. This one is clear all graphic effects, it's just going to clear every single effect I put on it. So I am just going to spam a bunch of effects here, clear all of them back to normal. So those blocks are already explained now, so I hope you have a better understanding for them. So the next one minute, we are just going to do a quick script. So we're going to go hello, then we're going to go hmm, and then we're going to switch the costume. Then we are going to switch the backdrop. Then we are going to change the size. This is going to happen instantly. You probably can't really see it. I'm going to increase the size by 25. There we go. And then we've got change color effect. I'm going to change the world effect. And I'm going to change the mosaic effect. And then after that I'm going to go to Backler. And then that is basically all the blocks you can really use noise. So what we're going to do is it's going to go hello, then it's going to go hmm, it switch the costume, it switch the backdrop, it's gone behind the sprite and it has moved it and it's world a bit. So that is what you can use look blocks for. Of course this is going to happen instantly, in a future video we'll get into this block which is the weight block. Uh, so it won't all happen at once, it, it will wait a while until that happens. So that was pretty successful, I hope you've learned a lot about uh, the look blocks here and have a better understanding for them and you can use them in your programs and there goes the timer. So thank you so much for watching this video of the Scratch Coding class, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my past videos and also give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon, bye for now.